Switch gears here. Actually, you know what? Let's stay on retail. The world's largest coffee chain has a new man in charge. Starbucks announced Laxman Narasimhan as its next CEO, set to take over in April from longtime leader and ultra huge presence, Howard Schultz. We're watching the stock here in the early going, up slightly on this news. And, and bro, this is not who I expected to be the next CEO of Starbucks. I think it has surprised a lot of folks on the street. Somewhat of a dark horse candidate that came out of nowhere. I think Mary Dillon, who's now the new CEO of Foot Locker, was in the running for this. I would argue Roz Brewer, uh, who was a once part of Starbucks, now the CEO of Walgreens, she caught a look for this job as well. But look, you have the now 55-year-old coming in here. Uh, he will officially take over as CEO uh, in April, going to start in October, going to learn at the feet of uh, Howard Schultz over the next uh, year or so. Good luck to him. He's got a big, big to-do list coming, yeah. in, coming in for him. And, I mean, he's still going to have a lot of kind of the, the ushering in, if you will, um, and I won't say hand-holding, but some of the guidance, at least, from Howard Schultz. Howard Schultz still going to be in the position uh, until April 1st of 2023, and then he's going to serve as an advisor through calendar year 2023 as well. So there will still be a lot of that knowledge sharing from the time that Howard Schultz was CEO to the time that he wasn't, and then now back in this interim period, because it is a far different Starbucks from when he gave the reins to Kevin Johnson, and then ever since, that company has had to undergo transformations, whether that is being able to open more of a footprint in new markets and ramp up up the number of locations that they have in those markets, cough, cough, China, mm -hmm. particularly here right now, where that's still going to be a headwind as a result of these zero COVID policies. But then at the same time, it's also leaned more into digital. How can they drive even more of those end to end kind of customer touch points through their mobile app and through those digital touch points and really get a sense of where the, the core customer is continuing to come back? And this is a critical period for that, because what do I talk about all the time? In any type of an economic pullback, consumers lean into these little luxuries. And coffee, that's one of them here. Yeah, look, uh, this is a turnaround situation at Starbucks. We have not heard that for some time. This is a turnaround situation. I tweeted out a good list earlier this morning of seven problems he has to address, the new incoming CEO. Here's some of them are. Worker unrest. This You, have, you continue to have this continued push uh, to unionize Starbucks stores. Very old Danny and Romero has been all over this story, and it's, it's been an ugly story for Starbucks, too. Uh, next, wait times for increasingly complex drinks. I think Howard Schultz has been trying to figure this out, maybe working on new machines. Bad food. Uh, is a problem. I, their food is just not good. They have to start serving some real food. Let's, let's, it's just a wasted opportunity. Paper cup waste. Is this new CEO going to be the CEO that finally gets rid of plastic and paper cups at Starbucks? I wouldn't be surprised if he is, in fact, that CEO. In the cost structure of the business, there was some speculation uh, about a month or two months ago that uh, Starbucks would exit the UK market or sell those stores mm. uh, to an owner. And that might be something he has to address. And then, two, they're still operating a lot of these luxury stores that uh, Howard Schultz planted or or put into the ground, some of those probably need to be closed. Just cost too much in, in a world where you should be counting every penny. Yeah, I think you outlined that extremely well. Look, A block of the show here on Friday. What do you get? You get unicorn tears, unicorn frappuccinos, all of them covered <laughs> in 10 minutes or less. Yeah, our team is a big fan of <laughs> unicorn fraps. All right, before we head to break, let's get a quick check of the meme stocks. Uh, watching GameStop, AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond. Let's zero in real quickly on Bed Bath & Beyond. That stock is down close to 30% since the company's midweek update on its cash raise and closing 150 stores and firing 20% of its workforce. One of the hottest tickers on the Yahoo Finance platform, and again, down 30% since the middle of this week.